Lady Sabrina has been performing in drag for more than 26 years. These days, she serves as the hostess with the mostest cleavage at a drag show every Sunday night at Club Remix in Worcester. We're here with Lady Sabrina, who is the Queen of Worcester. Is that an undisputed title? Undisputed. I'm it. I am a legend, a legacy, and a front. So how did you get that title? Uh, long years of perseverance. I've been doing this about 26 years. So, you know, within that 26 year time, I've seen a lot of girls come and go, but you know, a lot of us old timers are still working, and I'm one of them. Sabrina got an early start performing in clubs at the tender age of 16. It was great because, you know, I, I got to see like life and, and different queens and it just changed my whole perspective on life and drag and gay and straight and everything. It was, it was fabulous. She also told us that drag queens aren't necessarily gay. No, we have lots of different colors, lots of different colors. There are people who do drag as entertainment, not recreation, that's me. We have others that do drag for personal fulfillment, others who do it as a transitional period to be a woman, and then others who just like the feel of silk panties. I've got to ask about your friends. What would you like to know about my friends? <laughs> it was a completely painless procedure. <laughs> Where do they come from? Um, actually, it is a prosthetic breastplate. It starts at the neck, it goes down like a bib, and ends right underneath. Underneath, we'll just stop there. What's the fulfillment you get from doing your shows? You know, when I was a kid, it was always about trying to figure out, you know, different ways to kind of get that creative outlet out. And, you know, as a man, you're very limited. But as a drag queen, <laughs> I can do it all. For more things to do, see Go in Thursday's Telegram and Gazette or log on to www.telegram.com. So tell me, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing very fine. <laughs>